tired of fighting dual swords and corrupted dungeons so now i'm just gonna go fight dual swords and mists so now this guy knows where i am and he knows that i have to run through all these mobs i'm gonna take a ton of damage and then he can easily abuse that but i'm also playing at a really low rank so he's just gonna break crystals no <laughs> no Oh my god, he shot it to the left. <laughs> Yo, what? That hit? That hit me? What? Hello, welcome back. New video. Let's go. Uh, day six. Yeah? I'm gonna do more corrupted dungeons. I have roasted pyramid snapper now instead of the garbage beef stew. We got roasted pyramid snapper. I'm gonna see if that works better. I need to do something to be able to fight dual swords because they're absolutely uh, not fun to fight against and they're also all over the place in a corrupted dungeon. So yeah, we're doing that. Also, audio for last video was completely shafted, so I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna try to have a little bit more of a consistent audio for this video if it's not consistent tell me in the comments down below how much of a stupid dumb dumb i am okay thank you let's go into the corrupted dungeons who's this guy he's a curse staff user uh oh that's yeah that's not uh is that i don't know i don't know how to feel about that what is he on armor piercer okay wait he used wanderlust bro what step on that <laughs> thank you dude oh my god he's just killing himself now okay still kind of close which is scary because that guy just played that so bad dude fucking hell I want to be able to swap my gear. <laughs> Have a guardian helmet just to deal with that. Ayo, hey, purple chest. 20k. Let's go. 20k. Oh. Ah, uh, that's actually pretty good, man. Alright, I'm double dipping. So hopefully I don't get absolutely destroyed this time. But time will tell. What the hell is that, dude? So, knockback shot for sure. And he's on silence, right? He's not playing that without being on silence, right? Okay. Uh, good luck. Well, to me and him, I think it's pretty dangerous. Definitely a pretty dangerous fight. No. <laughs> no. Oh, no, dude. Stand still, gang. Oh, he's got Wanderlust. <laughs> he got auto attacked one time by this dog. That's very sad. Good fight, buddy. I got another invade, but this time I'm not double dipping, but I spawned really bad, and now this... Oh, oh, yeah, okay, he did spot me. Alright, so, you see, because now i got to run through all these mobs, and also there was, a, like, a specter thing right there, so now this guy knows where I am, and he knows that I have to run through all these mobs, I'm going to take a ton of damage, and then he can easily abuse that. But, I'm also playing at a really low rank, so he's just going to break crystals. It's another bolt casters? What? How is that even possible, dude? Oh my god, he shot it to the left. <laughs> he like purposefully missed me right there. That's that's a legendary move. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm in a bad spot here. I need to like halfway clear the stuff that I'm running through. I actually think that my W will, will save me. Yeah, Caltrop's OP. Okay, swap back to knockback shot. Good for dealing with this. Alright, let's go. Where, where, where are you going? Fights this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he swapped to that? What? Why would you do that? <laughs> All
Ayo, I freaking missed. Holy! Okay. <laughs> oh, the auto attack there. Oh, oh man. Thank God I he was only one auto attack and not like three away from dying because this thing auto attacks at the speed of about one auto attack every 16 years. I don't even know. It attacks slowly. That's all I'm saying. All right. So, all right. Good fight. Yo, what? Well, now I'm sad that I doubled up. Don't worry. I'll, I'll kill. I'll kill that guy. I'll kill the next guy. Don't worry. If I die now, I'm going to be so sad. This dude better hurry the hell up and fight me before my food runs out, man. What is that? All right, well, at least I hopefully won't die. Wait, I should swap to this. Why would you not go mage cow, bro? Or a Thetford cape. Like, where is your kill? Like... I'm just wondering how this dude is thinking he's gonna kill me. Get fucking big damage, bro. You ain't got no chance, man. I'm running out of energy. Fuck. Maybe he does have a chance. This guy is actually insane. Alright, you know what? Screw it. We're going auto fire. I don't even care. Where the hell do you think you're going, man? Wait. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, that's good, maybe? No. Damn. <laughs> uh, fun and engaging gameplay, bro. Oh my god! Die! Like, what the fuck? This guy's insane! He's unbeatable, man. There's bats? Jesus Christ. Okay, I don't have any food anymore. That's not good. Wait, what? He's still alive. Fuck me. Holy shit, man. Oh my god, I'm actually losing to this guy. I can't believe it. I can't kill him. I can't kill him. I have too many bat stacks at this point, and considering I got that fat, fat loot earlier, I just, you know, just what, this guy can go, can go, he can just play Corrupted Dungeons on his own, you know? That's fine. That's fine with me. Hello, use my Q. Like, what? I pressed Q like three times right there. It didn't do anything. I'm so slow. All right, good fight to the unkillable legend, man. I I don't know what to say. Uh, I need more damage. Also, my food ran out. That was a big problem. I could have swapped to poisons, but I really don't feel like the tier four poison was gonna do like that much. Maybe maybe it would have won me the fight, but it took so goddamn long to start fighting that guy. Bats were already spawning. Whatever. I'd rather just get this goddamn dagger pair out. 664k, let's go! Alright, next fight several hours later. Um, I did swap to eel stew, uh, 6.1 eel stew, just to keep things a little bit cheaper. Uh, I think it is probably the best food for this build in general. Either that or Avalonian omelets even could be pretty good. I feel like almost any food is just really good for this build. This guy's almost dead. Oh, 
Okay, then. <laughs> I didn't die. Don't worry. Good fight. Okay, it's those swords. Let's, uh... Let's hope this works out. Yo, really? Is Thetford Cape right there? Oh, man. That hit? That hit me? What? I feel like this is the worst build, like, to fight dual swords. It's so... Man. Also, how did that E still hit me? I was so far away from that. Oh, good fight, good fight. Alright, so after that fight and Grepta Dungeons, um, I'm feeling pretty good on fighting dual swords at the moment. Um, it seems really good. It's making me want to play heavy crossbow instead of light crossbow just because it's going to be better for kiting. Swapping out mercenary jacket for assassin jacket, for example. But we'll see what uh, what kind of shenanigans I get into. But for right now, we're actually going to go try out the mists with the exact same build. Uh, but we're going for max cooldown reduction with the pork omelet. So uh, hopefully, even though, you know, uh, tired of fighting dual swords and corrupted dungeons. So now I'm just going to go fight dual swords and mists. But I think with the open world aspect of the mists, I think I will have an advantage with uh, cow chops and being able to kite. Hopefully, um, it seems like the E just hits you no matter where you are on the map. So we'll <clears throat> definitely not salty at all about that. But yeah, let's uh, let's give it a try. Build is only like 300k or 250k in total with the siphon energy. So. This one is really cheap in comparison to my four hammer build, which is like 600k, so at least it's not too bad if I die. Alright, let's get into some mists. That's gonna look like a rough fight for me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Is there anyone going like cheap sets anymore in the mists or... Sheesh. Wow! Alright, let's get some might. <laughs> Free might because they're fighting. It would be really good if I could rat that, but if one of them turns on me, I'm dead within seconds, so uh, it might not be too much point in doing that. Alright, well, we got a rare wisp. That's really good. Yes. That's huge. Nice. What is this? 6.1? Wow. 4.2? Holy shit, that's not 8.3. They must have bought the wrong gear or something. Uh oh. Oh. Chill, dude. Chill. So I can't do this camp because this uh this frost guy, T8 frost guy, just he's he's just chilling here. Like, doesn't do anything else. He's just just he's just staying there. No one else is coming here either. Like, they're all getting killed by the 8.4 death givers. Uh, no no one else is in this. This is great. Dude is a problem. Okay. Man, fuck miss. I'm not just. I'm going roads, I guess. I, dude, what is the mists like at this point? This is ridiculous, dude. Like people are so con like content starved that they're going to camp. Like that was literally like ten minutes of that guy camping that camp to kill me. Like what the fuck, dude? Give me that loot. <laughs> Alright. Good fight, man. Okay, so the roaming mobs, or just the mobs that are, like, out on the paths are actually T8 in the T8 zones. 
So that makes me wonder how much fame this thing is going to give me. Fifteen thousand? Wow. Alright. That's pretty good. Yeah, so I just realized that I'm not T8 Reaver uh, yet, so those mobs were like <laughs> very difficult to kill. Um, yeah, so we're going to lesser roads to try to look for some easier to kill mobs there. Well, we popped out into a T7 black zone that is very much in the deep black zone. And there does seem to be some evolved mobs here, so we're just going to farm here for a little bit. Uh, hey, we got Elder Reaver at some point. I don't know when that happened, but that's pretty big. That's uh, pretty much the biggest milestone you can get on an account, so that's super good. Uh, let's go. This guy's doing a spiky boss. Soul of Dragon. I think it's more like Soul of Me Killing Him. He actually swapped to heal this man. Okay, alright, let's do it. I'm not going to betray this guy. He's, um, even though he has like 1.3 million fame, wait, 139 million fame, I mean, I can't, I can't betray this guy. He's too precious. Hundred and seventy nine thousand fame Yeah. That's pretty good. Thank you for the help. What is this? What is this? <laughs> Get away from me. My mount has no HP. Yo nice. That's really good. Nice, we got two more T6 Arcane Essence from that. Yeah, this one was really good because it also has one of these um, ghost town places. Uh, I forget what they're called, but uh, they're really good. They at least can be kind of good for making silver. They drop these uh, Arcane Essences, which are used to enchant potions to 0.1. So for like the T6 ones, they're used mainly for... Uh, 6-1 healing pots, which are going to be the best healing pots you can have. Uh, they're used a lot, honestly, so... Yeah, they have a good value to them, and this is usually pretty risky to kill these ghosts, so... They're kind of always in high demand. But, yeah, if you can manage to get some T6 ones, then... Uh, yeah, they're worth quite a bit. Yeah, so we went ahead and teleported back to Carleon. Uh, so that's where I started this, uh, massive fame farming journey. But... We did end up getting uh, about just under 600,000 silver in my inventory, as well as a lot of silver from the from the mob drop. So, all in all, like a pretty good run, just for killing open world mobs. Like it's not, it's pretty good silver, honestly. Yeah, made some good progression here. We got up to 44 in our weapons. It's obviously not huge, but. We're just doing like 30 minutes to an hour of fame farming. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, so I think I'm going to call it a day there. And we're going to uh, get on that silver grind tomorrow for sure. Uh, probably going to be a lot of corrupted dungeons. I am sitting at 33,000 infamy right now. I might honestly hop over on to my Forge Hammer character and do corrupted dungeons on him because... For the time being, it does seem like like dual swords are destroying light crossbow, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do about that, but yeah, we do need to make some more silver, and for right now, I mean, forge hammers are what I feel the most comfortable with in Corrupted Dungeons, at least. 
If I feel like fame farming, I'll come back onto this guy. And, uh, yeah, well, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, have a good one, as always, and bye.